So you guys have all heard of that evil racist bigot Alexander Graham Bell, right? We were all taught about him in schools. He happened to invent the telephone, but you know, most of us know him now as some evil racist bigot. And, and frankly, thank goodness, because the federal government has listened to us. They are now investigating Alexander Graham Bell for posthumous honors due to his controversial beliefs. According to Blacklock's reporter, the Historic Sites and Monuments Board are now investigating Alexander Graham Bell for what they consider to be views, actions, and activities condemned by today's society. Now, this Historic Sites and Monuments Board are also looking to cancel 24 historic Canadian military forts for what they consider to be colonial assumptions. Colonial assumptions from old British forts on Canadian soil. I wonder what could be colonial about that. I mean, obviously, it's colonial. Colonial assumptions? These were British forts. British forts that played an integral role in building the country and the freedom that we all enjoy today. But of course, you gotta tear that down because it's old, it's British, and it's white. It must go. We must rid it from Canadian society. We need to get rid of anything that leads to the real story of this country because that way we can rewrite this history. That's really what's been going on too. The woke radical left have been on an absolute tear recently, rewriting Canada's history, toppling Canadian statues of John A. Macdonald, Queen Victoria, Queen Elizabeth, Egerton Ryerson, and the list goes on. Not only that, Kingston, Ontario recently decided that the John A. Macdonald statue that they voted to tear out of the ground and rip off its pedestal, well, it's not gonna be coming back to his gravesite. They're just gonna vanish it from Canadian society. What a way to rewrite our history. As long as you get rid of any artifact that actually tells the story of Canada, then you can rewrite it in your own terms. Look out for when they tell us that Canada was actually created by a bunch of woke radical activists preaching for abortion rights and open immigration. But like we do on Ratioed, we wanted to give these woke radical idiots the benefit of the doubt. So what we did was we did a little bit of digging on Alexander Graham Bell's legacy, not wanting to make sure that we would gloss over some evil, awful, racist, bigoted actions by Mr. Alexander Graham Bell. And sure enough, we did find some of these horrible views that are out of touch with society. And I wanna go through some of these views. Now this is a trigger warning for all of you listening because the last thing we'd wanna do on Ratio is offend you listening. That's the last thing we wanna do. So this is your trigger warning before we go into some of Alexander Graham Bell's horrible, horrible views. These views include the idea that Alexander Graham Bell opposed marriage between deaf couples. He also opposed sign language and encouraged the deaf to assimilate by reading lips. Both Bell's mother and wife were hearing impaired. Oh my God, that's just terrible. I mean, sure, he invented the telephone, but he also thought deaf people should learn to read lips. Quick, cancel this man before anyone thinks a white man from the 19th century can be a force for good. Quickly, cancel him. I mean, surely it has to be those horrendous views on deaf people, especially if the government can't even answer the basic question of what views he held that are not in line with today's society. And I, 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 would, I would agree, you know, the idea that we should teach deaf people to learn to read lips, horrible, horrendous. You know, thank God, Canada has a prime minister so in touch with today's views and society's acceptable opinions. Like the idea that you can dress up in blackface, or the idea that you can dress up in brownface, or the idea that you can dress up in both blackface and brownface so many times you've lost count. I am wary of, of uh, being definitive about this because the uh, recent pictures that came out, I had not remembered. Uh, and I think the question is, uh, how can you not remember that. The fact is, I, I, uh, I didn't understand how hurtful this is to people who live with discrimination every single day. Thank God we have a prime minister that is so in tune with today's society. Let's cut to the chase here. This is a concerted effort to rewrite and erase Canadian history. They want to rewrite it in their image. They want to tear down monuments of Queen Elizabeth, Queen Victoria, Johnny Macdonald, Egerton Ryerson, and whoever else. A conservative politician with a backbone would pledge to rebuild these statues, rebuild these monuments, and repeal these wild attempts at rewriting our history. If you destroy and tear down any semblance of a true story of this country, you can rewrite it in whatever image you want. And I shudder at the idea of Justin Trudeau rewriting our Canada. <laughs> 